Emanuele Somariva, uh, that is an architect and assistant professor of the University of Genova. And so he will talk about food and creative industries in Europe and about the Creative Food Cycle project. Thank you very much, Federica, for the introduction. Thanks a lot to Jörg and to everyone to having me here today. I'm going to share with you my screen. Give me a second. Trying to see. Okay, give me just a moment. Okay, probably you see it correctly now. Right? Yes, okay, very good. Um, so, um, my contribution today is to talk about a bit of the uh, first part of um, the activities we carried out with the Creative Food Cycle project, as already Professor Schroeder was briefly introducing you at the beginning of this uh, morning session. And I'm going to share um, in particular the selection of the best practices, uh, um, which is being edited in this Food um, International Collection of um, Best Practices Catalog, Food Interaction Catalog, has been called. And uh, we are starting in particular from a first um, uh, consideration about the connection of food topics and creative industries uh, in Europe. Knowing that um, advanced research on biomaterials with the motto from uh, waste to resource uh, and the connection also with digital manufacturing can represent a strong bet um, for European creative industries, uh, startups, but also urban environments, where products replacement can significantly support food waste recycle. Um, in this regard, food sector um, from production to distribution, I mean, considering all the supply chain can represent a significant field of um, research. Um, the relation between food and the city, as we know, has been crucial since the foundation of our society. So food has been always a material for the sustainable renewal of, of cities and its metabolism. Um, but more than two centuries of industrial development and uh, urbanization, uh, our society led agriculture to an increasingly marginal role. And this also led to a progressively relocation of our um, food taste, food waste as, ex as expense to a diffuse urban metabolic imbalance. Organic waste from our cities, but also from countryside, traditionally managed through landfill uh, and composting, or worst, uh, illegally delocalization, um, could be diverted into a resource for the creation of new biomaterials uh, and have different um, way of application, uh, from architecture ranging to design and other products, before being feedback at the end of their life cycle. The urban bio loop, this study led by Arup, demonstrate a different paradigm from materials into construction is possible. Identify a multi-scale and complementary fabrication system from a number of organic waste streams, economically sustainable for recycle strategies. The study demonstrated a wide spectrum of application for biomaterials in order to provide creative industry with cheap, low carbon materials, ranging from pigments, insulation, carpets, acoustic um, elements, and so on and so forth. And some of the applied food waste material proposed are, for instance, peanut shells, which can be used for produce low cost partition boards, uh, rice whose husk can be turned into ash and mixed with cement to reduce the need of fillers, bananas or pineapple or fruits and leaves, um, can make rugged, um, rugged textile due to high strength fibers, as also orange fiber shows us um, before. Or potato peels, for instance, which can be pressed and dried to create low weight alternative to single use material like MDF. An interesting example for this is the chipboards project, which integrates digital fabrication to design new eco-friendly materials in a wide spectrum of application. 
Um, but also recently, um, small and medium enterprises experimented transformation of food waste into flexible biocomponent film like Scooby or compostable low density polyethylene obtained from fish scale and skin waste like marine text. Moreover, digital mediated communities and wide access to ICT will bring great progress to experimental food processing. 3D printing technique and digital gastronomy can be mixed together to customize food stuff in shape, color, flavors, but also texture. Like in case of Nova meat, a plant-based meat obtained from vegetable proteins, or a printing food to use residual food flows and create delicious tasting uh, printing uh, food or appetizer, so to say. In this frame, the Creative Food Cycle project wants to deal with the change of paradigm regarding food as an urban commodity, able to shape more and more the social spatial arrangement in place, um, which see the role of urban planner, architects and designer to be empowered with new languages too, and exchange and widening interface between creativity, place and public awareness. In this framework, um, this project has been funded by um, uh, the Creative Europe uh, Fund uh, from 2018 to 2020, contribute to the international debate of, of food urban agenda among three international partners, uh, dealing mainly with three phases. The phase one, production to distribution, dealt by Institute of Advanced Architecture of Catalonia in Barcelona, and the phase two distribution to consumption uh, dealt by Leibniz University Hannover and the phase three consumption to disposal and disposition of new materials by the University of, of Genova. The scope is to, stim to stimulate this uh, intercultural dialogue among the partner hosting cities and also to promote uh, a series of recursive uh, activities which later will be ex um, explained better by my colleague, uh, Sabrina Sposito. In particular, I would like to uh, focus on the first stage of this project and the food interaction catalog. Um, the catalog has been organized according to um, four readiness categories, dealing with research, prototype, temporary and permanent project related to different stage of development of each um, case and nine typological categories and this matrix of three per, per seven performance um, items to classify the level of performances and the effects produced in the case studies in the surrounding context. Different project has been selected. For instance, I want to show you a briefly a uh, group of them, permabioreactor, um, deal with um, new exploitation through nut nutritional cultivation uh, with microalgae, spirulina, as a super nutrient for food source uh, in the Alaska uh, region, grow from carbon dioxide produced by permafrost. Uh, next, we grow as a sustainable installation. Um, sorry. Yeah, um, building with spatially and programmatically designed according to uh, life cycle of local foods. The nest building provides uh, learning and gathering activity as new rituals and link of local communities. Uh, urban farm, Azona in Tokyo, is to cooperate, uh, a corporate in which office buildings integrate urban farming facilities, both hydroponic and soil based cultivation. Uh, Made in Cloister is a very interesting cultural and artistic project in the city center of Naples uh, with the exhibition, manifestation and temporary market, uh, which promote artisanal quality production to protect regional biodiversity. Manifesto Market is a gastro and cultural market establishing in um, the former earth uh, uh, wasteland in Prague by including new food rituals, experiments, and architecture uh, in this 20 um, containers which collect restaurants and designer pop-up stores. Yatai Food Cart, inspired by traditional mobile food stands um, by the Edo period, 
Uh, Yatai Cart is moving as a pop-up kitchen and a bar based uh, in the principle of self-construction and low manufacturing costs. Um, Cricket Shelter is a modular edible insect farm using by computation and digital manufacturing. Um, it's also creating a structure that accounts local factor like social solar orientation and air flows to raise edible crickets with the aim of providing source of alternative pro protein. Or Permafungi, founded as an open laboratory as, um, sorry, ethically produced and socially inclusive uh, um, how to say, uh, courses uh, based on uh, blue economy, uh, create this very interesting small and medium enterprises in which um, fresh oyster mushrooms and compost uh, um, obtained from spent coffee grounds uh, are harvested together. Or Apepak as a natural and ecological food wrap ethically produced um, to, um, com to put together bee, bee wax, pine raising, and jojoba oil with three materials supplied by beekeepers and local companies. Or Pinatex, developed for seven years, uh, um, ananas anam, uh, um, sorry, um, small and medium companies in Philippines. Pinatex is an innovative natural textile made from pineapple leaf fiber extracted through a process of decortication made at the plantation. And then textile is distributed to designers, sustainable alternative to leather and other synthetic materials. Uh, just in conclusion, I want to show you a brief video of what um, uh, the food interaction catalog collected together. This video has been done by Ayak, um, edited by Caro Farinea, Ariti Marco Polo, Federica Ciccone, and other um, components of the team. Um, you can um, download the Food Interaction Catalog for our website um, at the address www.creativefoodcycle.org and other application can be downloaded for free where you can see all the activities we carried out in this project. Thanks a lot for your attention. Thanks, Emanuele, for this uh, very interesting contribution.